Alrighty, what's going on guys, and welcome back to the desk of goodies. What have we got on the desk other than games that we can like, you know, nice little, little drink. Also, something else that I'm loving at the minute. If you're in the UK, get some of them. Oh, they are good. They are really good. <clears throat> what else is there I can brag about? Do you guys need cream? Want cream? Sure. It's cream for that. That really hurts, by the way. Anyway. Welcome back. I'm in a pretty good mood. We've been to bowling today. It was my little sister's birthday. We took her bowling. And uh, yeah, now I get to talk about some video games, which is just absolutely the best thing ever. So this is a little haul that we didn't really have in mind. Um, I've just recently purchased a new bike. And I was going to look at it before we bought it. Um, and there's a CEX near where the shop is. So I was like, yeah, you know. Let's go in there. Uh, I've got a list of all the games I like on my phone. Um, some of like the main ones. And the CEX, that, well, that's, I suppose it would be considered my local one, but it's got a very, very small PS3 collection. Like They don't really sell very many. But they've got quite a few 360 stuff, um, and they've just kind of recently rejigged everything, so it's quite hard to find what I'm looking for. But... You know, we found some things. So we've got one PS4, we've got PS3, but it'll make sense why these two are down the bottom when I get to the game. And we've got two Xbox Ones. So it is a predominantly 360 focus thing. I'm trying to fill out the 360 shelf. And now that I've actually got my 360 set up, I can record 360 games. So it's going to be a good time. So let's pull that over to the side and let's get jumping in, shall we? So, first up on the list making sure that was actually the right one then, is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. So the Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor. I think Shadow of Mordor might be the first, and Shadow of War is the second. Or it might be the other way around, I can't remember. Um, so I needed this on the PlayStation, but that means I now have both on the PlayStation and both on the free, uh, Xbox One. So annoyingly, it is a reprinted cover, but to be honest... I don't really, I don't really bother, no, no, yeah, whatever, just the game, nothing else, this is a game I keep getting, and every time we've, we've you know, spoken about it, I keep saying I want to play it, and I just never do, so, yeah, that's, that's my bad, that's my fault, yeah, I've just got so much shit to play at the minute, it's ridiculous, my PC's churning in the background, you can probably hear that, so we've got four out of fives, 4.5s, out of 5, 10 out of 10, 9.3 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Yeah, I don't think we can hold any stock in review based things because they're all full of shit. But unleash the power of the Wraith. Be bend Mordor to your will, an epic tale of revenge and redemption. So I'm not sure if that is one or two, I can't remember. But we need, we need to play it. I need to play it. I'm slacking. I need to get on to that. Um, I will get there at some point. <laughs> Right, next up, we've got COD Ghosts on the Xbox One. Bit pricey, didn't really want to pay this much, I'll be honest with you, but I bought this for achievements. Um, we have recently beat Ghosts on the main channel, on this channel. Um, and something I think would be quite fun to do is to go back through, play all the games again on the second channel for the achievements, for the trophies or whatever. Um, I'm kind of doing Xbox-based stuff because... Um, a lot of the PS stuff I've already got, so like the trophies and stuff like that, I've already beat most of the games on the PlayStation, with me predominantly being a PS4 player. So one thing I do want to do is go back through on the Xbox, I want to beat it on the, the Xbox One version, and I want to beat the 360 version um, for the achievements. Um, I'm having quite a lot of fun grinding achievements at the moment. But, you know, generally, and I'm not just saying this to be like different or whatever, I actually quite enjoyed the Ghost Campaign. I didn't think it was fantastic. But it was pretty good. It wasn't awful. And we've also just recently beat Advanced Warfare. And that one, I think, was pretty bad. So, you know, you take that for what you will. Um, but Ghosts, I actually quite enjoyed it. I really did. We've got the new dog models. Best selling first person action franchise of all time. So, yeah, we've still got, like, Extinction and stuff like that to play through and finish. But, I did enjoy Ghosts. I really did. I thought it was a pretty good game. 
Right, next up we have Metal Gear 5. Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. So I have all of the Metal Gear games on the PlayStation. I don't have them on the Xbox. So um, I actually never finished this on the PlayStation. Um, don't know why. It was cool. It was interesting. I spent money on the the female skin where she has her boobs out, of course. Played through the campaign quite a bit. Um, I just never finished it. And it's kind of an awkward one to do. Because getting this kind of stuff monetized is a bit of a pain in the ass because uh, it's yeah it's a bit funky. Sorry about the cuts. I've got raid going in the background. And I need to finish my missions. So yeah, um, I never finished it, and obviously I don't own any Metal Gear game on the Xbox. Uh, nope, not one. So now I do. Um, I do want to get all of them and give them a go. But yeah, pretty cool gameplay actually. You know, generally it's a third person shooter, which kind of changes to first person when you aim down sights, kind of like Ghost Recon uh, Breakpoint. So it's kind of cool in that sense. Um, but yeah, I need to finish it and actually give it a go. But we now own it on the Xbox. Right, where have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight Xbox 360 games to get through. All right. So number one, Far Cry 4. A Far Cry I've still not played. Um, I own this on PS4. I own this on PS3. I own this on Xbox One. And I'm just making sure I don't own it on this. No. Far Cry 2, Far Cry 3, Far Cry Predator. No, I don't. Okay, cool. So I don't own this already. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I couldn't tell you anything about it because I've got absolutely no idea. Um, I think it looks cool. Um, I'd like to go back and play Far Cry 3 again, um, but maybe on PC where it can be a little bit less janky because I tried playing through Blood Dragon on the PS4 and it was just one of the worst experiences I've ever had on the game. It was awful. Um, so yeah. Shadow of Mordor is actually on the PS3. Huh. Anyway. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about his Far Cry. We all love Far Cry. Welcome to Kirat. Travelling this beautiful Himalayan country, we quickly find ourselves caught in a civil war to overthrow the tyrant Pagan Min. Explore this vast open world where danger and unpredictability lurk around every corner. Herc's Redemption Limited Edition. Save Herc from imprisonment in three action-packed single-player missions. Could be cool, could be cool. Discover the most diverse Far Cry world ever created. Meet Pagan Min and liberate Kirat. Explore the living open world. So it is co-op as well, which is quite cool. Never played this. Really, really like Far Cry 5 and New Dawn. I think Far Cry 5 might be my favourite one out of all of them. I really, really enjoyed Far Cry 5. Um, and that's something I'd like to get through. Again, probably on the second channel. I really, really enjoyed it. I really did. Right. Let's try and find these, because I'm going to do these at the same time. So we can talk about these together. So, we've got Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 2 off the record. So, I have played both of these games a lot. I really enjoyed Dead Rising as a franchise. I think it is absolutely awesome. There's a lot of room. Well, there's a big, very big rumor and a supposed an announcement. It's not really a rumor that they are remaking Dead Rising One. Um, I can't remember when it's due to come out, but I think Dead Rising One is in big need of a a remaster. It doesn't hold the test of time. I think, like a lot of people kind of say, but these games were mega, um, especially in co-op. Me and Jack played through these quite a bit, especially two. Um, and I think I think two holds up pretty well nowadays, but the first one doesn't. So yeah, it is on. Um, that's got a classics. Oh yeah, it's classics. Okay. Uh, take what you will from that. I don't actually own any Xbox 360 classics until now. So uh, I do. I own Saints Row. Okay. Cool. Well, whatever. So yeah, there's Dead Rising 2, and then off the record, uh, instead of playing as Chuck, you play as Frank West from the... I've still got to play Dead Rising 3 and 4. 
Um, and it kind of changes the story around a bit. It kind of jangles it up a tiny bit. Not mega amounts, but... Um, yeah, it kind of flips the script on certain things. And I don't own any Dead Rising on... Um, 360. So, yeah. Achievements and all that good stuff. Like I said, I've played these games to death a lot. £2, £4 respectively. Pretty decent price. Definitely worth picking up if you haven't played them yourself. I think they're absolutely f mega games. And I, I do think, like I said, I think 2 holds up. Uh, I imagine it will be the next in line for a remake at some point. But we shall see. So, where are we at now? Okay, next up we've got Dragon's Dogma. The first one on Xbox. The case is in desperate need of a clean. It's disgusting. <sighs> I've not played this. Um, I've said it before. I've, I've tried buying this on every console I can. I think I've done pretty good. Um, I've got it on PS4, but I don't think I own it physically. Dragons. Uh, no, I don't. I've got it on... Do I have it on Xbox? Nope. Okay, cool. So I, I do own it on PS3. No? Really? No way I don't. Oh, no, it's there. Yeah, I was going to say. Why is it in the middle of bees? Hmm. That's not annoying. Right, so I don't own it on the next-gen consoles. But anyway, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is out now, obviously. Um, and this game looks really good. I just, I just, I never played it. I don't know why. I don't ever remember hearing about it as a kid. And obviously 2 is out now, so I'm currently in the process of playing through 2. But I do want to go back and play through the originals, and obviously we've got achievements. Um, you have, like, pawns, which are, like, uh, followers. You get to make your own, and then you get to take other people's out with you. That's how the second game works. Whether the first game is similar or not, I couldn't tell you because I'm not 100% sure. Right, next up on the list, we've got Darkness 2. So, The Darkness. So, Darkness 1, Darkness 2 on the Xbox 360 are games that are on my list. Uh, they didn't have the first one, unfortunately. Bit of a hefty price for some of these. I don't know if you're noticing, but. You know, four pound for off the record and two pound for Dead Rising two. I don't understand how that works because they're the same game. It's not like off the record is better. It's the same game. Um, and yeah, coming up, I mean, the two at the end are also ridiculously pricey for what they are. But I kind of needed to get them. And Dragon's Dawn three pound. I can't remember how much I paid for it on the PS4. I can't remember, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so The Darkness is a game I really, really want to get to because it looks awesome. Um, I don't know if... I, and I know I've got it installed on the PC ready to go. This one. I don't know if I have Darkness 1 on PC. I don't think I do. And I don't even know if it is on PC or not. But it looks awesome. So it's like a first-person shooter, but you have these abilities. Like these little... I don't even know what they are. Like dragon heads. And they're kind of like abilities and they all do different things. And they're really, really cool. And... Darkness 2 actually has like a, um, how do you describe it, like a cell shaded art style, a bit like Borderlands, which is awesome, and speaking of which, that's more games I need to get to, kind of sharpish, that's really bugging me how these are mixed up with bees, that's really pissed me off, but yeah, it's like a cell shaded first person shooter, but that's kind of all I know, and it says it's co-op. Which is pretty cool. I didn't know that. So that is something definitely to look out for. But yeah, Darkness 2. That's what we've got to get to. Right, I'm going to talk about this one very briefly. Because um, I know nothing about this game. But we've got Randy Couture and Fedor Emelianenko on the front. Which is kind of cool. So I'm a big UFC guy. I really, really enjoy UFC. Um, I don't watch it every time. But I always keep up to date with the results. So this is EA Sports MMA. I don't know if this is the game that was before um, uh, like UFC 2, 3, 4. Um, I don't actually own any of the older UFC games. 
on anything. I own UFC 2009 Undisputed on PS3, and that's it. I don't physically own any of the UFC games on anything, so. Cool. Um, whether we'll, I don't know if I'll ever actually make videos on it or not, but it'll be one that I'll definitely play in the background. Um, post hype videos for your creative fire. Definition definitive MMA experience, multiple disciplines, rules, ring styles, locations, and fighters from the global sport. So, yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. Like I said, I don't really play UFC games on the channel, so. That's that. Right, we got Lego Star Wars, the original trilogy. So I didn't even know this was a thing. Um, on the like the 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 third gen, I don't even know what you class them as, but like the PS3 360 era. Yeah, that's upside down. That's Jesus. That's thick as fuck. Oh, and it's coloured. Wow. See, so yeah, I mean, Caitlin are currently playing through the complete saga, and it wasn't until I was shopping on some of the websites that I kind of looked and I was like oh shit the original trilogy I know I have the original trilogy on um PS2 but I didn't realise they did it on like I said on this so I'm doing this for the achievements more than anything but um yeah like I said we are we are playing through this at the moment we've got this to do um then there's uh Force Awakens that we've got to do then there's the Skywalker saga that we've got to do. Then we've got to go back and play through some of the original ones. And then obviously we've got to do this now. So, yeah, that's all second channel stuff. Um, we're, yeah, Lego games are for the second channel. I don't post them on the main channel. And it's Star Wars and copyright is a right ball. Like, um, every single one of them has copyright written on it just for the music. So that's why I don't do it on the main channel. Right, and lastly, like I said, these two are going to go together and it's going to make sense. So we've got The Walking Dead Survival Instinct on the 360 and the PS3. I love The Walking Dead. I'm a massive fan. I really, really enjoyed the series up to a point where they kind of ruined it for me. Um, I think Killing Glenn Off is what killed it for me. I, think, I don't think I watched a single episode after that. Um, and yeah, watching where the show's gone is kind of depressing, to be honest, because it is quite... Uh, quite a shame how they're kind of doing spin-offs now and Daryl Dixon's in France and Rick and Michonne are somewhere else and yeah, it's whatever but for a time I really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed playing um, playing the Road to Survival games and Walking Dead hasn't really made a game that's like really good like a State of Decay style Walking Dead game would be awesome, you know, with some of the characters and some of the the locations, but they just they just don't. It's a shame. It is a shame. So so uh yeah, like I was saying about pricey, eight pound for this. I don't know why, because I don't see anywhere that reviews it kind of raves on about it, but you know, it is what it is. So do you have what it takes to survive? Play as Daryl alongside his brother Mo in an unforgiving prelude to the hit TV series. Scavenger, scavenge supplies to survive. Watch out, the walkers can see and smell you. Choose to survive and live with the consequences. So, uh, yeah, it's not co-op, it's not online. And you play as Daryl and it's kind of meant to be like a little story before he shows up in The Walking Dead. Um, Yeah, I watched videos on it. Um... I watched reviews on it, and I don't think it was kind of rated very highly, but, you know, I never played it, so I'd like to give it a go. And I don't know if it ever got a PC port, so should be uh, should be one to check out. So there we go. There is another haul done and dusted. Mega. So, yeah, what do we normally do now? Let's try and do it like this, because... I... This makes it a bit easier, to be honest. I should have done it instead of picking it up. Well, that cover doesn't close. That's not annoying. Right, let's do it like this, shall we? Actually, let's do it like this. There we go. There we go. That's better. So, yeah, like I said, there we go another video done and dusted so i hope you guys have enjoyed um 
if you have, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. We do unboxing tools, gameplay, reviews, games, all this kind of stuff. Everything gameplay related we do. Um, leave a comment if there's anything here you'd like to see me play. Um, I say this every time. Darkness 2 is one I want to get to at some point. God Ghost, we've done on the main channel if you want to see my playthrough on that. But I am going to go through it again on the Xbox on the second channel. Same with Metal Gear. I might do Dead Risings. I'm not sure yet. Dragon's Dogma is one I'd like to get to, but I've got to finish two first. And then, like I said, Lego Star Wars, we are getting through with Caitlin in the background on the second channel. So, yeah, that is that. So, like I said, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave comments, leave questions if you want to know anything. Um, Yeah, links to all my social medias are in the description box down below. It has been your boy, and I will see you all in the next one.